stone sculptures to frozen figures. Heiss Morgan, series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichto. Sensational sculptures. I'm a sculptor. I make sculptures of groups of people by carving wood. Sculptures of people can be made of different materials. These are made from rubbish like old cans and broken tiles. They might make us think about how much we throw away and how important recycling is. These 6,000 tiny figures are hand painted. They are stuck on a wall in the shape of a map to make us think about where people live. All over the world, you can see sensational sculptures of people. Let me show you some of my favorites. The Terracotta Army. In 1974, some Chinese farmers were digging a well in a field. Suddenly, the spade hit something hard in the ground. At first, the farmers thought it was a big stone, but it wasn't. They had discovered a life-sized clay warrior. More and more clay figures were uncovered. There were thousands of warriors hidden underground in large pits. Over 2,000 years ago, the first emperor of China had ordered craftsmen to build the terracotta warriors. Maybe he thought they would protect him after he died. The terracotta warriors may have been modeled on real people in the army. There are life-sized horses and chariots, too. It took more than 700,000 people nearly 40 years to build the army and their surroundings. This warrior would have held a spear. Workers dug clay from the earth to make the warriors. Craftsmen shaped the clay and let it dry. Then they baked it in a hot oven called a kiln to harden the clay. The baked clay is called terracotta. Terracotta means baked earth. The sculptures have solid bases, but the upper bodies and heads are hollow. This helps them stand up. The craftsmen used molds to make the legs, arms, and heads. They had about 10 basic face-shaped molds that represented people from different areas of China. Then they added details, like ears, beards, and mustaches. Some warriors have plaited hair and others have their hair in a bun or wear hats. Finally, they painted the warriors with paint and lacquer. Nowadays, the warriors look gray, but they were brightly colored when they were made. Can you see the paint on this warrior? The warriors have many different expressions. Some are smiling and look happy, but others are frowning and look stern. Each figure is unique. How do you think this warrior is feeling? Fields of figures. Field for the British Isles is a sculpture by Antony Gormley. Like the terracotta.